Welcome to the Fermented Homestead. If you're new here, my name is Anna, and on this channel, I'm sharing our journey of learning how to turn our home into a homestead. Today is day number two of Vlogmas. It is technically the first day of December, so maybe it's the first day of Vlogmas. I really don't know how this thing works. Am I the only person who had a mild panic attack waking up this morning realizing that gardening season starts in like 26 days? At least the planning period of it. <laughs> I feel like it just ended. I'm not ready. This afternoon I am gonna be actually making a bunch of those hot cocoa bombs, but today is actually milk day. And I go with my friend Heather and Amy and we go and we pick up raw milk, eggs if they have it, which they haven't lately. But before I do that, I gotta switch over my kefir because I totally forgot to do it yesterday. I ended up being in town all day. So anyways, we gotta make our milk kefir. <laughs> This is this one thing I love about milk kefir. It is the highest bacterial probiotic count of any naturally fermented food on earth, and it's this easy. That wasn't supposed to happen. Look how thick that is. It's two day fermented. <laughs> I forgot about it yesterday. I'm heading to get milk today, so I'll just top that off when we get back. This one gets the metal lid with the seal. I crank it on there super tight so that and it'll ferment for the next like eight hours and build up pressure and bubbles in here. Sounds weird, but it's good. This one is just gonna ferment for the next day. I'll see you back here after I go get milk. I'm so pumped, I'm so excited, I got everything I need probably more. I'm gonna bring you guys along for the ride. I have no idea what I'm doing. I have a very slight idea what I'm doing, I should say, but I don't really know what I'm doing. So we're gonna learn together. I'm gonna share with you what I figure out. And hopefully, maybe by the end of this, you guys might wanna go, cause you still have plenty of time. You can pick up some of this stuff on a more manageable level and make some of these for your Christmas gifts or for any gifts up throughout the year. So that's the nice thing about this is that it can be repurposed. Who wouldn't want a gift basket with a bunch of hot cocoa bombs for Valentine's Day? Like, come on. Okay, well, it's any time, I should say during the colder months. <laughs> I wouldn't want one in July. I'm gonna bring you in and we're gonna figure this stuff out, all right? The first thing that we need to do is melt the chocolate so we can make the actual balls that go in it. We're gonna melt the chocolate and we're gonna make it a one pan of these and let them refrigerate and get them all ready. And then I'm gonna weigh them because I need to do some taste tests and figure out exactly how much of this, that, and the other thing tastes the best. But, you know, I don't wanna put in all the effort to making the actual cocoa bomb when I can just put in the amount of the ingredients and get the ingredients balanced just right. Does that make sense? I feel like it does. Let's melt some chocolate. Over here on the table, I can just kind of have a little bit of, a little bit less clutter over here. So, well, we're gonna go ahead and fill these up. I, there are, I've seen a lot of different ways that you can actually fill these things up. And we're gonna try a couple of them. A lot of people use a spoon and they just kind of spread it with the spoon. I found that this spoon is actually pretty decent for it. But it also, it's not melt enough. Like I was saying, I have seen people use spoons and they kind of just spread it around. Like this seems to be the most normal, or I should say the most common thing that I see. And just kind of doing uh, like a couple of thin layers, sort of. I did a test run of three of these like two nights ago and it was way too thick. Like I could barely even put anything in it and it took forever to melt. There was just way too much of an excess. We're gonna try this guy here. We'll try spooning it in here. And then spreading it out with this brush. The inside, it doesn't matter what the inside looks like. FYI, it's only the outside that matters. Uh, because the inside is gonna be filled. And it's gonna be melted, so I'm gonna see it. You really wanna make sure to get it up to like the rim. That was one thing that I found frustrating on the ones that I didn't make sure to get it all the way up to the rim on. <laughs> it was annoying to put them, it was annoying to seal them together, I should say. I should clarify. And then, this fancy thing. Ooh, this is fancy. I feel like 
this might be the most viable option. I do have some actual paint brushes, like some pastry paint brushes back from my cake decorating days. And I think they're in the garage. I should say, I think I still have them left over. Doesn't seem like something that I can see myself getting rid of. After I throw these in the freezer, I'll see if I can go out and hunt them down. Basically, I'm just trying to coat the whole inside of this and leave no gaps and no obvious thin spots. But that's not the end of the world because we're gonna do this um, a much thinner layer the second time around. If that can always be fixed quite easily. This is definitely a little bit tedious, but I have a pretty strong feeling that once you kind of get the hang of it, it's not quite so tedious. We're actually gonna turn this guy upside down and put it in the freezer. Oh, and I forgot to show you. These are one of the two uh, styles of boxes that we actually went to uh, to Springfield to pick up yesterday. So <laughs> this is why I drove all the way to Springfield. These were a dollar a piece anywhere else. And I think these were like a quarter on Amazon. So it was definitely worth it. And it was especially worth it because I got to see my friend Jen. So it was a two for one trip. So I think these are kind of cute. And you know, if this is something that I do choose to continue, like I could get like a little sticker or something or a stamp and just stamp it with like my logo or something like that. I think that could be kind of fun. So see you back here in a minute. I don't have it. I cannot find it anywhere. And I do not care to really spend half my day looking for a tiny little paintbrush. So I just cleaned this one up a little bit. I, I trimmed off, I made it kind of even so I won't be quite so afraid. Uh, hopefully this will work a little bit better. This is nice, but it, it these things just leave, leave marks like they're just they're too thick so we're gonna actually try something different this is another thing that a lot of people suggested is that it's just easier to work with individually thankfully i got this one it was like half off or 40 percent off when i went in there well that's just a stupid idea well, i guess it doesn't really matter anyways okay so so, a lot of people just kind of did this. I'm regretting my decision right now. I really am. It is easier to work with, but like, anyway. I think this is this is the, the chicken dinner right here. This is the way to do it. No regrets, right? Let's see what we got here. Let's see what we're working with. And people say that it's a good idea to shine it up to the light and you can kind of see it where it has holes and then it'll patch up really quickly and it'll set really quickly because everything is still frozen. So you have to move really quickly. <laughs> this is not a tutorial. I'm just sharing something cool I learned. Just so you know, this is not like a how to. This is a figuring out how to do it. And if any of you guys have any tips or any of y'all know how to do this, feel free to share. <laughs> Cause I, I don't know what I'm doing. I do know that you kind of want the rims to be up here, like the tops to be a little bit thicker than the bottoms. Uh, Cause that's where you're joining it together. And so in order to have a stronger bond, people seem to place an emphasis on the rims here so we're going to I'm really looking forward to seeing if, if um, the second batch using just this paintbrush is a little bit better Hopefully these are ready to de-pan. Just pull it away from the edge here. And crack it. That's great, that's great. Yeah. Fixable, okay. Okay. Why did I do that? All right, so. This is 42 grams, one and a half ounces. So let's mix us up the perfect cup of hot chocolate. I have water boiling behind us. It is obviously ideal to use milk, but um, I'm not gonna have access to milk while we're at the event. So my workaround for that is putting in 
dehydrated milk powder. In the preliminary taste test with the hubby, that worked. I'm hoping to make four different flavors. Regular hot chocolate, just like chocolate, 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 everything chocolate. And then a peppermint mocha, mint, mint chocolate, and then possibly a salted caramel. We'll see how that goes. But that's kind of my plan, so let's go ahead and measure out all the things that we need for this. Ooh. I'd be happy if I got that. I got the salted caramel figured out. The mint chocolate, the mint chocolate is, is good. Still waiting on the regular chocolate to melt. I got the peppermint mocha figured out. I have them all figured out. I think we're good. Yep. Oh, that is a good cup of hot chocolate. So I am unfortunately going to dump all of these down the drain so I'm not tempted to drink them because I'm not actually supposed to have this kind of stuff, but you can't sell stuff that you don't test. And my husband's not here to help me test them. So, <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna just make a bunch of these. What time is it now? So I have about an hour that I can work on these. So to put these things together, basically all you do is you just warm up a pan and you melt the edges and squish them together. Like you have one side filled and then you put the other one on top and then they just kind of fill. I'm just gonna make a bunch of these but I'm probably not gonna be decorating them until tomorrow. So I'll bring you guys back and you can help me um, help me decorate these. I hope that you guys enjoyed Vlogmas day number two. I'm super excited about it. I'm really getting in, kind of getting in the Christmas spirit with all this decorations and candies. And oh my gosh, I totally forgot to tell you. When I went out to the garage to try and find the paintbrushes, I didn't find the paintbrushes, but I found all of my old cookie cutters that I have not used in years. So guess what's on the horizon? Sugar cookies, Christmas cookies, all of the things. Those are gonna be happening. I'm super excited. I love being, I love decorating sugar cookies. Oh, so excited, I haven't done it in so, so, so many years and I'm so pumped to bring you guys along for that one. We're gonna be doing that one in a future Vlogmas, who knows which one, but I do have all kinds of fun stuff coming up. Tomorrow, we're gonna be going like start to finish we're gonna be making these, okay? We're gonna be making a bunch of these. And then on Saturday, I'm not sure what's gonna be going on Saturday. I'm not sure if I'm gonna actually be able to film much at the actual fair, our fair festival. I think it's a festival. And then Sunday, I'm planning Sunday is gonna be Christmas decorating day. So we're gonna bust out all of our old decorations that I haven't even looked at in a few years. And we are going to uh, deck the halls on Sunday. Well, it's Sunday for me, so it'll be Monday for you guys. But I hope you guys are excited about it because I am about that. I'm really enjoying bringing you guys along for daily vlogs again. It's been a while since I've done that, and I'm excited to share all of the Christmas excitement with you guys, as well as bring you along for all of my gut healing adventures and my homestead shenanigans. If that sounds awesome to you, click this button right here. This is the subscribe button. This was what this is what tells YouTube you want to come back here. Up here is a video that Mr. Google Pants thinks that you're gonna enjoy. This here is yesterday's vlogmas and then up here's the vlogmas playlist check it out for all the awesomeness we'll see you next time thanks for watching bye